Lauren, that awkward plank girl. Welcome back to my channel. It's so good to see you guys. Thank you guys for popping in. Today we are going to be unboxing some plant mail and talking about some plants that I've got from my friend Chris. Uh, I've been buying from her shop for a while now. She has a TikTok shop, I believe. I don't know if she's opened her website yet, but she's planning on it. Uh, I've got multiple plants from her and I absolutely freaking love them. And she ships them impeccably well, which is something that I am truly grateful for. Especially even the plants that I bought in the wintertime are still very, very good. They came just fine in the mail and everything, which sometimes that's hit or miss. So, and she always adds little goodies and things. So let's go ahead and unbox this and see what she got. And then we can take a look at some plants that I purchased from her before. And you guys get to see some cool plants. Or at least what I think are cool plants. I don't know. <laughs> Everybody's tastes are different these days. She got this cool little double boxing thing. Plants and Things by Chris. Here is her little logo so that you guys can see. And she gave me stickers. <gasps> Look how cute these are. Look at these. Oh my gosh, there's a little whale, little elephant. <gasps> oh, it's a little sloth with carrots. Oh my gosh. <gasps> it's, oh, there you go. It's a cat with his butt hanging out of the pot. Oh my God, I love it. They're so cute. These are adorable. I don't know. Is this some sort of epipremnum that's super fenestrated or is it some sort of fern? Who knows? But cool stickers. I'm excited for them. <laughs> the little things in the packaging that do it. Oh my gosh. Of course, I'm excited for the actual plant too. So let me get on that. There we go. Do you guys remember these? I used to play with these so much when I was a little kid. Oh my gosh. Little troll, he's got a little butt hanging out. Oh my God, <laughs> he's so cute. I'm gonna have to put this little guy in a terrarium. I don't know if I can like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that hair to protect it though. A little octopus, a little octopus, a little octopus mushroom guy i have the cutest terrarium that i am building to put these guys in so make sure you subscribe so you come back and see that because ah, i thrifted another thing for like a couple of dollars and i'm gonna turn it into a terrarium i'm so excited so i'm gonna have to add one of those in i don't know which one yet though uh, okay see how she she wrapped it. There's no dirt going everywhere, you know, and it's got all this fluff in it. Oh, a little mushroom guy fell out. There's another little mushroom. Super cute. This is... Syngonium strawberry ice, which I had one before, but I honestly don't know what happened to it. Um, I had it in my big tank last summer and somehow between last summer and like a month ago, I lost it. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know if it like reverted and it's one of the regular ones in there now. I don't know if it died. I cleaned out that tank so many times. I don't know what happened to it. But I remember that I was really excited about it, what it could potentially be. And I'm rearranging my whole plant room. And I was like, I really need to get one of those. So when she popped up for $15 for this beautiful plant, I was like, heck yes, I will take a strawberry ice and gonium for $15. Like that's an amazing deal. And it's got a bunch of different plants in here. It's not just one little plant either. This thing is so cool looking. They'll do all different kinds of colors too. So they'll get different dark greens, light greens and pinks. And it just, it looks really, really cool. So there you are. And then I bought other plants from her too. Actually other syngoniums from her. I was really excited about. And she's gifted me a couple of plants along the way too. She was also one of the very first people to introduce me to trading in the plant community. And she's one of the reasons why I can trade with other people in the plant community because she did a trade with me and it went so well. And she made it known to other people that it went well. And she's really helped me be able to get a lot more plants and to be able to share a lot more plants. 
So Chris is an amazing person as well as an amazing business owner and plant shipper. So definitely go check out her stuff. Uh, she does live sales occasionally too. I actually, sorry. Uh, she does live sales occasionally as well. And I actually picked this up off of a live sale and I never ever go to live sales. I don't, I don't buy live sale things because a lot of times you don't know the people that are in live sales. Um, and you don't know if you're actually going to get what you're paying for and that sort of thing, especially if you're just going to like Venmo or snap or whatever, you know, like with the transactions like that, it's really hard to tell whether a person's legitimate or not. So it's nice to have somebody that I can be like, oh, there is the plant that I want. Let me just send you money and you can send me the plant, you know, or I can go to her, her link tree and whatever, and take a look at all the different things and see what she has where. So she's always got cool plants and she's always putting a whole bunch of new plants on there too. Uh, the one thing I regret the most is not getting one of the silver Croniana plugs she had for like $5. Like that would have just been the coolest thing ever. But I just, I just wanted the one plant. I told myself before I hopped on there that I'm only going to get one plant because it adds up quick. So that's what I did. That's what I got. But if she has another live sale, oh my gosh, there's a, if she has another live sale, then huh, I'll definitely do it. There's this cutie little flower that totally came out too. I didn't have that before. Is there any other little goodies in here that I'm missing? I think that's it. I just keep discovering stuff. So, but let me show you, uh, let me show you the other plants that I unboxed from her a while ago, and then I'll go find them through my plant room and show you what they're looking like now. I'll give you like a little update on them. This is that ficus shivriana. 
So it actually was in a terrarium. I shoved all of these in a terrarium tank and just closed the lid on them literally and totally forgot about them in there. Not really forgot about them, but just didn't really go and check on them if you know what I mean. So this is that Syngonium Neon. You can see it's actually doing really, really well. This is the Ficus Shivriana and it's actually doing pretty good. I know from a top perspective, it's not looking so hot because these were all crumpled at the top of the tank. Um, but it's actually looking really great down here and it's got one, two, three, four growth points total on it. So I can have four different branches, trees growing out of this pot and it needs a repot. You can see the roots have all grown out of it and it's actually grown into this syngonium that it was next to. So there is that. Oh, and some of her plants come in these little pots too, and they have like a little uh, drainage dish and everything with them. But because I shoved them in a terrarium, I didn't worry about that. So this beautiful Schlumbergera uh, is a holiday cactus is another name for them. They can have Christmas cactus, Easter cactus. Um, and I think there's a Thanksgiving cactus as well. This is a variegated one. You can see some are all white. And then some are green and white as well. And then this particular one gives pink flowers, if I recall correctly. I haven't gotten it to bloom yet. It's just what she told me when I ordered it, but I've been wanting one of these for such a long time. So I'm really excited. I've been keeping it in 100% humidity in my terrariums. I'm just tucking it in there and sealing it up and I keep it very close to the light. Um, the same amount of close, ironically, that I keep this Starlight Syngonium. This Starlight Syngonium, I, it gives me Calathea White Fusion vibes. It really does. Because it will revert if you don't give it enough light, but if you get it too close to the light, it burns. And it needs high humidity, or it's just going to wilt away and be cranky. Um, but it's so pretty when it's doing well. So it's like super addictive. And the, the leaves are really thin. They're not thick and chunky and arrow shaped. Um, and then this one is actually kind of thirsty. These are both kind of thirsty. So, but I've clearly been getting a lot of Syngonium from Chris. I love opening boxes from Chris because they're always packaged really well. The plants always come perfectly healthy. They always ship incredibly quickly and they're pretty inexpensive. They're very reasonably priced and I find amazing deals with her. She always hooks me up with little goodies like this adorable freaking little troll. I love it. And little mushrooms. And then there's a little rose flower thing. There's a whole bunch of different little things, but she gives me different little things every single time. So it's always a little surprise in the package along with the plants. Definitely check her out if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe, leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.